to Chicago. Bob, hello, and welcome to the EIB Network. Um, I was just wondering, Rush, if you were president, what would you be doing right now in Afghanistan? What do you think we should be doing? Uh, do you think we should be doing more anti-insurgency or anti-terrorism, more or less troops, different troops, that sort of thing? Well, I'm not a commanding officer. I would listen to those who are. It's very simple. We win, they lose. But did you see the interview on 60 Minutes this weekend with the general? Yeah. He said he's only talked to the commander-in-chief one time in 70 days. Right, and he was talking about, you know, being more careful in our bombing and stuff, and I know that's something that's driven you crazy when the Democrats have said that in the past, and I was just wondering well, what you look, thought about it that. Is, it is a dichotomy when, the, when the, uh, the cowards who are our enemy bury themselves in homes and neighborhoods with women and children wearing the burqas. Uh, it is difficult for us to go out and get the guys uh, because the, we, are, we are limited by our compassion for not causing collateral damage. So you would just take the gloves off? No, I'd listen to what the generals say. But the bottom line is, you what, what I do in Afghanistan, I'd win. I'd win. Here, uh, uh, Obama has spoken up again. It's it's not hard. You know, in a war, the operating philosophy is, you know, well, what's the end game? Uh, when do you get out? After we win. We win, they lose. Here's Obama at the White House. After he met with U.N. Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen. Did they get a new Secretary General? I thought the Secretary General was Banky Moon from uh, from one of the Koreas. Anyway, here's Obama. He said this about their. And by the way, he is he's ignoring Richard Cohen's uh, warning and uh, Howard Feynman's warning. Uh, stay off TV, Obama on TV again, saying Afghan. Well, he, he you listen. Here's what he said. We talked about obviously the most important NATO mission right now, and that is Afghanistan. And uh, we both agree that it is absolutely critical that we are successful in dismantling, disrupting, destroying the Al-Qaeda network, and that we are effectively working with the Afghan government to provide the security uh, necessary for that right. country. This yep. is not a American battle. This is a NATO mission as well, and we are working actively and diligently to consult with NATO at every step of the way. He's the NATO general. Uh, this uh, this uh, Anders Fogh Rasmussen is the NATO general, not the UN Secretary General. But anyway, Obama. Well, no, this is not an American battle. He said that. You heard him. It's not an American battle. It's a NATO mission. Who's NATO? We are. We and the Brits are NATO. Well, yeah, the Australians, uh, you know, the, the people from Oz, cool. But but we're we're it's not an American battle. Why, I thought, I distinctly remembered all during the Iraq war that Afghanistan is where we should have been, is what Obama was saying, where we should have been. We should go out there and capture bin Laden. Now it's not an American battle. It's a NATO mission. we got to do what we can out there to succeed in dismantling, disrupting, destroying the Al-Qaeda network. It's not, our, it's not our battle. Therefore, what this means is when we lose... It's not his fault. It's NATO's. Back after this. Listen, learn, then spread the word. Rush on the EIB Network. Oh.